what we do uh, uh, how many of you have jupiter uh, raise your hand uh, yes jupiter jupiter uh, i hope all of you have a, must be jupiter good 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 many of you don't have the jupiter how bhavin patel are you connected with me no i need everyone have jupiter so you want me if someone have if someone ha don't have jupiter so he or she maybe use google collab hmm. okay so you can open this is dot google dot com you can take uh, you can take new notebook it will it will automatically save someone mic is open please please mute yourself okay so uh, this is just like a jupiter notebook so you guys can do all the things okay so i'm not going to write anything everything is uh, uh, written over here okay you can ask me the query okay i am starting okay first of all what is numpy numpy is a numeric python it's a fundamental package what is a package package is a one kind of collection of classes and method method and these method and classes are used to perform some special task okay and it is used for the scientific computing uh, what is advantage of numpy numpy advantage it may be do the faster computation rather than the python okay basically this library used for the multi dimensional array why we use the uh, multi dimensional array basically we use a two dimensional array because the, our data set is in excel format because our data set is in excel format and excel data or csv data we can consider is it what two dimension okay for example i am showing you some data set later on i will give you data set uh, the help of uh, lms uh, let's suppose i am opening any data set bank loan this will take some time because my this is one to so not microsoft office labor office so see this is one kind of data set here you have column name okay column name over here and later on you have that rows number of rows so this have the number of column names some number of column about 10 to 12 and then it have number of rows so approximate it have the 4400 uh, 4522 rows Okay, so this is two dimensional representation. This is two dimensional representation. That's why we use the NumPy so that it can be used to handle the data set. Okay, so NumPy knowledge is very essential. Okay, so now start. First of all, we have to import this one. Import NumPy as np. So this is a uh, style to import any package in Python. NumPy np is aliasing rather than writing NumPy again and again. I will write the NumPy. Okay, so you can run this thing, run this command over here. I mean, those who don't have the Jupyter notebook, they can do this thing. Initially, it will take time; otherwise, it will run smoothly because the disk allocation like that. Okay. So, first of all, how we create? You can check its version. I can run for over here. Okay, check it. This is double underscore. Keep this mind. this is not underscore double underscore i will give you this file all right so first of all how we create the one dimension array so the one dimension array is used with the help of array function inside array function you have to pass a list means single square bracket open and single square bracket close so i am taking the a variable np dot array and then pass a list over here of number so when i run this thing and when i print this thing so this will print the data okay so if you printing without print function mind this without print function so this will give you the type it says it's array 
but if you're using a print function so this will give only data so this is a basic difference between print and without print so this is my basic question to all of you is print function is recommended in data science yeah miss sabha is print function is recommended in data science if this is your second class so i think or thought you cannot answer this question miss sabha uh, is print function is recommended in machine learning data science i thought she is unable to give the answer uh, mr pratik uh, yes sir why uh, uh, sir i don't know if it is recommended or not but if i am a data scientist so i will be uh, using uh, directly instead of going for print function because it is giving me yeah, more definitely. information so, so that, that's why i am say print function is not recommended because print function hide the data type it's only show the data but if you don't use a print function it shows a type with data so that's why you are saying you directly print the thing because yes sir we we need the data with its type because i don't know what it is two dimensional array one dimensional array so once the type is shown you you have clearly vision what exactly going to be similarly we create one dimensional array we create two dimensional array what is two dimensional array two dimensional array is a collection of row and column so here we have rows and here we have column keep in mind its index start with the zero okay index with zero okay second means first row zero 1 2 3 again first column zero 1 2 etc etc so how we create two dimensional array see just let me zoom this thing first of all i have to create some outer bracket okay see its syntax we have its outer syntax outer square bracket inside outer square bracket you have to put the row by row one dimensional data first row data second row data and third row data so once we do this kind of arrangement check this thing i create the first row whose entry is all first i create the second row whose entry is all second Similarly, I create the third row. When I do this kind of arrangement, so what happened? My array is created over here. So very simple thing. If you just count these square bracket, you find the, what kind of array is this? So here, first array is my one dimensional. Second array is two dimension. Even we have some attribute and functions which tell me the type of data. First of all, if you want to print the array dimension. means axes how many axes you have so you can find the dimension of array using and dim okay this is not function this is property or attribute so my first array is one dimensional my second array is two dimensional all right because it's have two square bracket it's have this kind of arrangement so that is a two dimensional if you want to print the shape of this one shape row and column what is shape row and column if you have 1d array you have only one attribute when means total number of element if you have 2d at, at array so you have two attribute first one says it's a row and second one says it's a column if you have three dimension array so first of all you have number of matrix then how many rows in each matrix and how many rows in each column let's see we will demonstrate these thing so first of all a uh, let's see the a i can increase the cell over here so if i type the a what is my a a is array 1 2 3 4 5 6 six element are there so this will shows you this will shows you the a dot shape means how many element are there and please mind second entry which is corresponding for the column will be always missing all right why because only one dimensional array have the only content over here okay similarly what we have to do similarly we are printing the b dot shape see b dot shape turning you tuples this is tuples okay so what is tuples mm 
Ashurya. Ashurya. What is tuples? Uh, sir, I really forgot. Can't remember. Uh, you did the Python course? Yes. Oh, so you must know the tuples. Okay. Ajinkya, Mr. Ajinkya, please tell me what is tuples? Actually, I got I get confused between uh, like these things. So I am giving you assignment. Uh, you will tell me on tomorrow what is difference between what is tuples, what is difference between tuples and list, what is difference between tuples and dictionary. Okay. Accept okay. my assignment. Okay. Okay. So Azinkya, what is tuples? You did the Python. Yeah. Uh, I'm just saying that so yeah. So dear, this is not fair. When I teach the Python in December, everyone know what what exactly every concept. Uh, like uh, tuples are uh, immutable, sir. Mm, what's your good name? Unchangeable. Yeah. Uh, someone told me a definition of tuples. Uh, Sheetal Shivakumar. Sheetal. Yes, yeah, Sheetal. Sheetal, what is tuples? Please repeat again. Uh, it is a data type which is uh, immutable. Very good. It's an immutable. Mm -hmm. Uh, collection of data. Yeah, okay. collection, uh, collection so of data. Which tuples and dictionary is a basically collection of data structure in which tuples show some special characteristics means we cannot modify the tuples once we assign. So, and second thing, the data is shown in the form of parentheses. List show the square bracket. Tuples show the parentheses and the dictionary show the curly braces. Okay, mind these differences. Okay, so the B dot shape, B is basically two dimensional arrays. The first one shows the rows. And second one shows a column. So if I want to print only rows, so I take B dot shape and the first parameter. First parameter means this three. Okay. So this will give you three. Again, this will give me. So let's make one more matrix. C equal to np dot array. array. This function is there. I make two dimensional array. Two, two, comma, two, comma, two. Again, four, comma, four, comma, four. Again, one more thing. I miss semi uh, comma over here. Again, eight comma eight comma eight. Sorry, it's eight, eight comma eight comma eight. And one more rows over here. That is one comma one comma one. Okay, so let's see the thing. What is C? C is made this kind of array. So we have now four rows and three columns. Why I put why I create second matrix? Because here we have same the thing. Similarly, if we print the C dot shape. Now you can check. Four rows, three columns, and print the number of rows. Rows comma c dot shape of zero four rows similarly you can print the number of columns in c columns in c three column so now data is different that's why i make the second matrix next matrix you can feel the difference before because initially it had the same dimension we cannot differentiate number of rows number of columns but now you can differentiate number of rows and number of columns okay uh, so one minute yes please uh, beta your uh, name is shown as galaxy so please i request you all to put your original name not galaxy not radami what your good name okay uh, sir what is what do you mean by C the shape of zero or shape of one? Can you explain? Uh, I just repeat the last five minutes. I am repeating the same thing. This is tuples. You know the tuples? Yes, shape, sir. Shape return you two things. First parameter is rows. Second parameter is column. So for any matrix, what is shape? How many rows are there? How many columns are there? This will return under the shape. Okay. Okay. Shape will return row and column. Okay, uh, it, it is written over here. If you see, print shape R means row, C means column. I designed notebook for the students so that the notes as well as practice can do over here. Yes, please. 
but uh, i understood the rows and columns concept but uh, i am not getting shape of zero what does it mean shape of zero means the tuple written over here contain two parameter so first parameter have the index zero second parameter have the index one so first parameter which is index indicating the row means the shape not two parameter i recall only one parameter the row so that is shape of zero means out of these two things i picking the zeroth index value okay sir out of these two i am picking the first index because any collection starting uh, index is zero all right thank you sir now printing the total number of element okay a dot size what we use array variable dot size so a contain 6 b contain 9 what c contain how we get the size if we multiply total number of rows and total number of column so in my c we have four rows and three column so four three are 12 similarly c dot size we have 12 all right printing that type of element in array what we do now the thing is that what kind of data okay so it contain integer 64 Integer data of sixty-four bit. All right. So A contains sixty-four bit data, B contains sixty-four bit data. But what about the float? If my array have a float, so I can create an array with the help of float. See this thing. Uh, I take this C one because I already created the C. What I extra supply till now? What I do? I just put the value over here. What I extra supply? I will supply the D type means data type. So if I put Into over here, so this will create the type of data type integer C1. Similarly, if I put the float over here, check this thing. I just put C2. Okay, so once you put the float, so what it do? It intelligently put the decimal point after each data. Even if there is no there is no float data. But beside this, this will convert all integer to float. Okay, one more thing, C three check C three. Here I make one entry float. Check this thing. I'm just zooming this. Here I make one entry float, and put the type int. So what happen if any float value forcefully turn into integer? So that value will lose the float data. So this two point five, this two point five will turn into two, because this is a float, and we force it to convert this thing in integer. So that's why it lose the value. So two point five become two. Okay. So this depend upon situation what kind of data we required over here. Uh, sir, yes, if the value is two point six, then Same thing, dear. Value should be round off, not matter two point five. We are not rounding off. We are just cutting that float value. This is a float number, and we pushing the all the values to be turned into integer. So it doesn't matter two point five, two point six, two point seven, two point nine, even two point zero. Doesn't matter. It will print as a two, as a whole integer. Okay. Thank you. Here, here, here so what your you voice have? is breaking. Dear Mike, had um, uh, multimedia headphone today, so I hope. Uh, let me check the speed. So it's clear. Sometimes your speed also matter. So check this one. I have good speed, thirty Mbps, twenty five Mbps. Perfect, perfect. All right. So kindly check your speed also. Otherwise, we provide the recording. We provide the resources. So don't worry. Okay. Now. NumPy provide us some function which is used to create some predefined kind of matrices. Just like if you want to create any matrix which contain all the zeros, so we have function np dot zeros. How it's work? If I put np dot zeros and one parameter over here, so this will return me one dimension array. Check this one. One dimension. If I put np dot zeros This and give me three rows and five columns. So this give me three rows and five columns. Perfect. And 
please check this thing if i check the type of d array d dot d types so this is float okay you can check decimal is putting over after each entry if you don't want decimal after each entry so put d type forcefully put d type int so the what array it is going to be create it remove the decimal and now you can compare if you put don't put any data type it will give you decimal values with zeros if you put forcefully integer data type this will put the zero over here without decimal all right now similarly we have ones we have zero we have ones np dot ones dimension and data type check this thing it will create 3 comma 5 let's suppose i put the 5 comma 7 so this will big matrix 5 comma 7 if you remove the d type over here so this will do the same thing for the float value and mind this this is a two dimension matrix so two square bracket is an opening and two square bracket is closing so one more thing yes please if uh, it doesn't specify like d type as in it would by default give the float values of one yeah check this one and uh, what uh, what the difference between in 64 in 16 uh, float 64 float 16 sir actually this is bit system how data is uh, uh, saving in your system that is a bit system just like your window 32 bit window 64 window that is a memory allocation that's why we use the bit and this is intelligently decided by your numpy okay you don't lose your data but it depends what kind of bit system is there my system is 64 bit so it is concerned with 64 now similarly if you want to create okay, thank you if uh, we create zeros matrix, we create ones matrix. If you want to create any number matrix, so numpy not provide every function. Now we have full. Okay, np dot full. First, the number of dimension, what dimension you needed, then which number you want to fill, then what data type. Let's suppose I need five comma five matrix, whose number will be three. So you can see over here, 5 comma 5 is given over here and whose number are 3. Just like you put over 9, so 9 is there. Now we have random values. What is random value? That value which can be created randomly. Uh, okay, uh, you don't have data set, you have to create some value randomly. We use a random function. So np.random.random we have to write two times first one is a class second one is a function so when we use np dot random dot random and put two parameter row and column just let me let me make five rows three column so this will give you all fractional number which is not greater than one which is not greater than one okay this is my e array okay if i add two plus e so what happened this 2 plus e will be adding over here and this show values and the quality of these random number these number will run change each time if you run this cell again check this thing this is 69 56 27 0, 5. this will keep changing all right similarly if you add any number in this so it will change accordingly okay if you want two dimension you have to pass two parameter if you want only one dimension array you have to pass only one parameter okay here we need braces here we don't need braces if you need one dimension all right now similarly np dot random dot rand integer this is a very good thing here you can create the value according to a range let's suppose it accept three parameter starting point end point and size means one dimensional two dimensional it is the function for doing the random sampling in numpy it return the array of specified shape and fill with the random integer low inclusive high exclusive this is very important high value never be attended less than high value will be attended just like for loop okay and interval 
you got over here now what i do i create the value from c 1 to 10 okay and i need only five numbers so this will give you from 1 to 10 only five number and these keep changing each time this will keep changing okay but instead of this thing you need two dimension so two dimension is given in blue 4 to 10 you need 4 to 10 so 10 will not print it even 9 will be printed and you need two rows and three column okay similarly from 40 to 100 i need three rows and four column check this one you can change the dimension 5.5 check this one but here the range is important if i put 1 to 10 1 to 10 so 1 to 9 maximum number will be 9 check this one never 10 will be printed because it is the exclusive number it will not include it is exclude okay similarly now the three dimension array uh, one dimension which say one parameter two dimension two parameter three dimension we have three parameter the first parameter tell me the number of matrix second parameter tell me the number of rows in each matrix and third parameter tell me the number of columns in each matrix so if i use 40 to 100 let's suppose i take 1 to 10 i need two matrix each matrix contain three rows and each matrix contain four columns so check this one if i increase number of matrix to four so this give me the four matrix one two three and four and if you want to check the dimension of this one it is three dimensions so first calculate this three square bracket first calculate this three square bracket and then gone through with this one so what is end uh you are in this session from beginning you are in this session from beginning yes sir yes sir so i hope you see endim over here it shows okay, okay. it shows the axis how many axes there one dimension two dimension three dimension okay okay, okay 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 growth, see, see, now, uh, till now data is countable condition mm -hmm. okay. till mm -hmm. now data is countable condition but what happened when data you have a large data set large so we are not countable so we use the endim it shows the dimension all right okay sir okay and this is out of scope this is i think image so this is not because numpy also work on uh, uh, images so later on we will discuss uh, when we do some image processing so numpy because um, uh, uh, what we say the image is also is a collection of matrix which is contain the pixel value rgb value okay so later on we will when we use the image processing i will discuss this scenario okay one more announcement we have email id email id where a student can contact to us any query okay what email id i have provided by the management mm, i wrote over here and the, you got this file You got all the files with the uh, in the format of PDF. All right. Okay, you got this PDF file on LMS, so you got this email ID. Okay, okay. So give me two med break. In fact, one med break. I'm just coming because it's eight three. Uh, today my net will off on eight fifteen. Okay, so we have to wind up class. Give me one minute break for water. I just coming in one minute. Right. Can you scroll up a bit and uh, tell me, tell me where? Yes, where? Uh, up, 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 sir. This one? Fine, sir. Okay, so I'm leaving over here uh, for one minute break. Right. Meanwhile, you can also take the one minute break. Right. Thank you. Okay, welcome back. Uh, all of you over here? Yes. All right. So next move to next chapter because I divide NumPy in five chapter. I think four to five chapter. Yeah, five chapters there. 
okay so here we have some important concept i will just start the class please wait my phone getting i got getting phone call so in this chapter we will have some array creation technique with predefined function just like we do the zeros ones and fulls similarly we have some function over here the first function is arrange okay so what we do over here we can create a sequence of number the first function arrange what this arrange function do keep mind this spelling this is a r a n g e not a w r a n g e all right so it use start point end point and step Okay. Start point, and if you miss the step, so by default step size is one. Okay, check this one. Check this one. I just put ten to twenty one. Okay, so what happened? It will run from ten to twenty one, and in fact, last step is exclusive. Means last number will not attend it. Just like if I change the thing, one to ten, one to ten. So one to nine is printed. Okay. Similarly, I just take this one, take some cells. I just put one to ten of step two. One to ten of step two. So by default, the step size is one, so that one two three four five six is printed. But now step size is two. So one plus two three three plus two five five plus two seven seven plus two nine. All right. Now similarly. I just take the weight. Let's suppose I take. I want to create some data set, uh, which want to create some uh, weight. So I start let my data set in my data set weight start from seventy, or we can say my weight start from fifty, and maximum is eighty uh, one. And I need these the with the help of four, three. Check this one. Fifty. Fifty three. Fifty six. All right. Similarly, we have linear space. Very important function. In arrange, we have start point, end point, and step size. Mm -hmm. Now here we have start point, end point, and number of how many number you required. How many number you required? Check this one. If we have np dot linear space from one to ten. I need ten numbers. So they will give me one ten number. Again, one to ten. I need twenty numbers. So what it do? It divide all the range from one to ten in twenty numbers. So beautiful function. Means given range. In fact, you can create two hundred values from mm -hmm. one to ten. Yes. From one to ten. One to ten. You need two hundred values. So that give because it will narrowing the space. It will narrowing the step size. Check this one. So what is step size? Create one point zero four, one point zero nine, one point four three. It's a seven digit number. I two to four to six to eight. Sorry, eight digit number. Okay. So that give you one to ten, two hundred values. So keep this thing in mind. Arrange function return you the sequence with the step size. Lin space give you the sequence with the total number you wanted. Because here you give the step size, so you don't control on the total number. Total number means count number. But here, if you give the step size, so you have the control over the count. Kit how many numbers you require? आपको number कितने चाहिए होते हैं? It depend करता है. A lin space function give you this thing. All right. This will say how many numbers you have. This will say how many. So in this, the maximum number is inclusive. Right? Mm, please repeat. In this, so maximum the maximum number, number is inclusive. Maximum number means not not getting ten. Ten. Uh, ten is inclusive. Inclusive. That is inclusive. That is inclusive. I put over here. That this will include. This will include thirty or ten will include. Arrange in arrange last function last number will not include, but here it will include. Because this here we have to find total number in given range, and here we have to give the step size. First okay, and sir. last, first and last step will print. You note, man, they are kind, right? 
and here uh-huh. i put this note ki the loop will run less than last value ठीक है सारे नोट्स लिखे हुए हैं सो यू नीड नॉट टू वरी अबाउट दिस वन यू कैन गो ओवर हेयर ओके वन मोर थिंग इफ यू वांट दिस डॉक्यूमेंटेशन पुट द कर्सर ओवर हेयर एंड शिफ्ट टैब कर्सर ओवर हेयर एंड शिफ्ट टैब एंड व्हेन यू गो टू प्लस सो यू गॉट ऑल डॉक्यूमेंटेशन प्रोवाइड बाय द नंपाई ऑफ दिस वन विद एग्जांपल राइट फॉर फॉर एनी एनीथिंग इन डेटा साइंस यू कैन गॉट डॉक्यूमेंटेशन यूजिंग शिफ्ट टैब So when I put over here, you got documentation using Shift plus Tab on any function. Okay, say thirteen. So I hope I will do reshaping on tomorrow. Uh, I put that tomorrow time. I put tomorrow time six evening, six p.m. evening. Okay, so I will start from reshaping because this is a lengthy thing, so it will take time some. Okay, so how reshaping is done, how flatten is done. So I will try to cover maximum thing numpy and start pandas on tomorrow. Yeah, 